टूडे वी हैव डिस्कस इन द क्लास द पिवर टेबल एंड मिस्टर अब्दुल्ला वी हैव विद मी ओके तो जस्ट स्टार्ट द पिवर टेबल राइट यस तो फर्स्ट नो अबाउट द व्हाट इट डू विद द पिवर टेबल व्हाई यूज द पिवर टेबल इन द एक्शंस इन द ऑफिस फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द रिपोर्ट व्हाट इज द रिपोर्ट so if you uh, define your report your report definition is the summary of the data okay the report yeah. is the summary of the data every report have a summarize the sum of data summarize the sum summarize with uh, some particular angle and particular legend the basic basic part basic is, base is the summarize and after the summarize we have also uh, include the calculated analysis part in the report but base is the summarize that okay summarize. so in the pivot table we have used the uh, we have used the pivot table for analyze the data summarize the data and represent of the data okay with pivot table you can summarize your data analyze your data and also represent your data okay yeah so, so i have i have data i have just open one data it's like human resource data we have open mm. and before the start using the pivot table first understand your data okay, what is your data and what do you want to with data what what do you want to report what is your report what do you require require your reports so first we have understand the data then we have understand the reports so this is the our, my data so this my data have a the salary data keeps person's name hiring date salary bonus overtime over time and working department how many days in the leave and what the performance score so this is the salary data so i want to just one information every department wise department wise total headcount how many peoples how many peoples working in the each departments so i want to headcount of the department headcount of the employee department wise so under you are you are also under understand the data and also you have know about the you what you want the summary and report from this data okay yeah before the before the you uh, apply the paper table just check check out ki any column heading not will be blank your in the data if you have column will be blank then can't insert the paper table because paper table consider through heading so it is important second thing ki if you have data have a, have a no any blank row have a data no any blank row so no need to select data and apply the pivot table you can without selection you can apply also pivot table but in the data you have the one any blank row completely blank row then if you have not select the data and apply the paper table your paper table just apply the some part of the data not the whole data because paper table selection work with the control a current region just like we have pressing the control a and select this data so if you have blank row control a and current region also not select the whole data that time need to delete your blank row otherwise you can manually select your data then insert the pivot table okay okay so we have delete the pivot table and insert the pivot table in the insert menu bar we have the also one options recommended pivot table this is the yeah. like auto auto pilot right you have in the this this options understand your data and apply the some type some kind of the pivot table just like first a department by salary some of the bonus some of the overtime 
sum of the salary and count of the full name so you have you have uh, just like i check i i want to calculate the head count of the de department so this is the row level department sum of the salary and count of the name it means count of the head count how many people so this is the uh, useful for me so select and okay our data will be here mm -hmm. so pivot recommended pivot table apply your pivot table the understanding the some type of the examples and type the uh, the what is this uh, this algorithm the understand the data and apply the probability reports yeah okay and uh, and if you have no idea and if you have no any meet the requirement on this this recommended pivot you can also apply the pivot table directly click oh, okay. on the table and press the okay you have insert the sheet and apply the pivot table here is the headings okay the pivot area this is the heading i have uh, i was also talk to you uh, to tell you ki no any blank heading in the data because hmm. your pivot table considering the headings okay so i want to department by head count so we have click the department and draw the row so we have the four area the row value column and filter row values column and filter okay 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 so we have apply here and also we have click on the name and drop the value name and okay ha huh. if you have uh, drop the in the row row row, uh, row columns you can see here your legend is the row wise mm -mm. in in your data in 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 my data I have a uh, one department have a multiple times but in the pivot table so only for the one time only one time okay right, right? so if you have if you have put on the put on the row sections so your row wise if you have put the column sections so the column wise but uh, mm -hmm. here is a no required of the col column no fit for the column so we have drop down here the row and mm -hmm. which column have a calculation just like sum count average we have put here value section just like full name the count of the name okay okay and this is the report with your but report is not correct because this is the role level what is the, what uh, uh, every people uh, can't understand the role level what is the role level so you can change here it's like department department okay and also save your count just like total Okay, I I need to apply the formatting. You can also apply the formatting uh, from here. Normal normal formatting, normal border, normal column, and everything the normal. But problem is that if you have send the report as a pivot table, in future you have the data updated. Mm. And when the when the data updated, we have just click the refresh for the updating the data on the pivot table. That time. your formatting will be replaced removed because if you have apply the formatting 4 to 12 but new feature add in the 13 14 16 so normal filter is not connected to the pivot so maybe maybe chance your your formatting will be removed so i have suggest you if you want to apply the formatting to so click on the pivot table see here the design tab click on the design tab and select okay. the style layer oh okay select your style layer which is style you have mm. so this style is the part of the pivot table when you refresh your pivot table if your data will be updated your form format can't be removed and replaced because this is the part of pivot table okay i and i have also applied the visualization just like charts so in the pivot table analyze also you can also apply through here the pivot table chart and you can also apply here the normal charts 
we will connect it with pivot. So we have applied the normal charts and there is the chart, the charts. And this chart connected with my pivot table. If pivot table will be updated, chart automatically updated. Okay. You can also apply here and type here the heading department white. And you can also remove this like this tab, this tab like the button, right click here and hide on button. Button will be hide. And I want to apply some uh, formatting in the chart. So click on the chart, see here design, and this is the pivot table designs. Which design you have to like and require, click and just apply. Just like this design I require. Click and apply. Your paper table report will be ready. Share to the any persons. Okay. Okay. So we have the we have the uh, four uh, four part of the paper table in this course. First the summarization. Second is the calculation. Third is the external and fourth is the uh, slicers. Relationships just like power people call. Okay. Okay. Hello. Ha. Hi. <coughs> so, uh, for discuss about the summarization, just like we have created the summary here. So I want to create the summary that we have entered here month. Like that, that. This, this salary which from the month. So I want to see the see the total number number of uh, total uh, salary that month wise and department which month which department have have given the how many salaries. So click and pivot table and OK. So first we have just click the department and drop down the row level and month we have also uh, drop down the columns and total salary in the value because salary is the sum. Two more thing in this pivot table. First we have uh, want to give the zero of the blank sale. There is the blank sale so I want to give the zero here. Okay. So right click pivot table options and this is the four empty sales so enter here zero and ok. Second thing we have applied the row and column data right lower this is the matrix view like that called matrix view. Hello. Ah. There, matrix one. But if you have, if we have large number of large number of the amount of your row field, just like I have, I have entered your name. So see here, we have the large amount of the name. If you have name more than two hundred fifty six, people can't consider and can't make the pivot. So if you have entered in the column field, check it. We have the legend not more than 256 the item is not more than the 256 mm. and secondly if you have the below just like if i have the name is the below 256 but this is the critical for the review because people can't want to scroll left to right top to town scroll is the easy but left to right the left to right is calling the critical and second thing we have can't print the uh, print this of data in the one page originally with heading so so that time we have <coughs> entered the your field in the below of row the sub heading like that okay and we have this is the accounting and check here this is the collapse and expand button click here collapse expand in the paper table analyze we have 
collapse and expand we have click on the this button collapse field you will fill every field will be collapsed and if you click on the expand your every field will be, will be expand so collapse and expand so this is the summary of the summary like <coughs> but this feature working with board uh, which report we have the same same report to people directly the people table but sometime we have copied this data and paste to another location and we have give the some calculations that time have a problem first problem we have give the total so effective my total so first we have remove the sub total right click here right click and sub total month your uh, yeah, right here Subtotal department, your total will be removed. But now, if I have copy and paste anywhere, paste as a value, remove the pivot mm -hmm. here. Here, this is a type of data. So some okay. some problem in this data, I can't analyze and can't make the any formula. So I want to data in the different different column. The first column is the department, second column is the month, and third column is the Salary. Mm. So in the, in this problem, we have solved through. Have we have the two two uh, two way. First, right click and go to the pivot table options and in the display we have option classical pivot table layout. Click on the classical table pivot table layout and OK. We have got here. And second problem, go to the design and this is the layout, is the layout the tabular form. Okay. Your oh. data will be here. But still problem here, if you have copied, uh, copied your data in the other locations, you have got the report that different, different columns, but this is the blank. So we have need to drag here, like. Okay. I have applied the formula and apply the filter also here. For this problem, we have to solve. Go to the design menu bar and we have the repeat item label. Repeat item label. Okay. Mr. Yes, yes. <coughs> okay. 